Hello friends, this video on rational numbers part 21 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So based on whatever we have studied so far, let us try to look at some of the questions. Represent 7 by 4 on the number line. Now when you look at it, what is the denominator? It is 4. So what have we learned that on the number line, whatever the denominator is, we divide each segment into those many equal parts. Let's say if this is 0, 1, 2 and so on. And this side you have minus 1, minus 2 and so on. So what we do is we divide this section between 0 to 1 into 4 equal parts because 4 is the denominator. So let's say 1, 2, 3 and 4. So similarly we divide every segment into 4 equal parts like this. Now, why we are not doing it on the other side is this is a positive rational number. So, it will obviously exist somewhere on this side. Okay. So, now what would be this first point? It is one part out of four parts. So, this will be 1 by 4. This is 2 by 4. This is 3 by 4. This 1 is nothing but 4 by 4. This is 5 by 4. This is 6 by 4. This is 7 by 4. And this 2 is again nothing but 8 by 4. So, where is 7 by 4? Here. So, this is how we locate or represent 7 by 4 on the number line. Question number 2. Represent minus 2 by 11 minus 5 by 11 minus 9 by 11 on the number line. So, again let us follow the same technique. So, we draw the number line. This is 0. This is 1. This is 2. This side, this is minus 1. This is minus 2 and so on. So here what is the denominator? The denominator is 11. So here we will divide each segment into 11 equal parts. So here let's divide it into 11 equal parts. So we will divide it like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So like this you have divided it into 11 equal parts. So similarly we will do it on the other side as well because this time it is a negative rational number so it will lie on this side itself. So let's divide it into 11 equal parts. So this is how we have divided it into 11 equal parts. So let us now start uh, locating the points. So this is 0. So what would be this point? This is one part out of 11 parts. So this would be minus 1 by 11. The next point would be minus 2 by 11. The next point would be minus 3 by 11. So this would be 4 by 11. This would be 5 by 11. This would be 6 by 11, 7 by 11, 8 by 11, 9 by 11. This would be 10 by 11 and finally this would be 11 by 11. That is 1. So we had to locate 2 by 11, 5 by 11, and 9 by 11. So these are the three points on the number line. So this is the technique how you locate rational numbers on number line. Question number three. Write five rational numbers which are smaller than two. So here again let's draw the number line just to give you an easier view. So if this is zero, this is one, this is two, this is three, this is 4. Similarly, this side you have minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on. So you have to find out 5 rational numbers which are smaller than 2. So anything that is smaller than 2 and is a rational number should do. So very clearly looking at this, you can see that 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. These are rational numbers smaller than 2. Anyways, you will have more rational numbers between them. But these are, these are also rational numbers. They are integers, but all integers are rational numbers. So these are also rational numbers. So we can say that these are the rational numbers which are smaller than 2. Question number 4. Find 10 rational numbers between minus 2 by 5 and 1 by 2. So again in this case if you look at it, the lower limit and the upper limit, they have different denominators. So first of all we have to change their denominator in such a way that both of them have same denominator. So how do we do that? 
So on one side we have minus 2 by 5, the other side we have 1 by 2. Now what is it that if we multiply to the denominator of both, we will get the same denominator. So for example, if we multiply this by 2 and multiply this by 5, what will happen? Both of this will become 10, so my purpose will be solved. So what we do, we multiply both numerator and denominator by 2. So this becomes minus 4 by 10. Similarly, here also we multiply both numerator and denominator by 5, so we get 5 by 10. So now our lower limit is minus 4 by 10 and our upper limit is 5 by 10. So now let's say if this is the number line, you have minus 4 by 10 somewhere here, you have 5 by 10 somewhere here, maybe 0 somewhere in between the two. So what are the numbers that would be located between minus 4 by 10 and 5 by 10? So you see minus 4 by 10, after that you will have minus 3 by 10, minus 2 by 10, minus 1 by 10, then 0 by 10 which is 0, then 1 by 10, 2 by 10, 3 by 10, 4 by 10, 5 by 10. So you see between 4 by 10 and 5 by 10 you could find 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 rational numbers we already found, but we needed 10. So for that what we can do, minus 4 by 10 can be written as minus 40 by 100. So therefore anything that comes in between these, that is minus 39 by, 4, by 100, minus 38 by 100, minus 37 by 100. So it continue like this till you reach 0 and then you cross 0 and you finally reach 49 by 100 and then 50 by 100. So you leave these two, in between these two you have so many numbers. So just pick any two out of these and that's how you get 10 rational numbers between minus 2 by 5 and 1 by 2. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to avail free quality education with a simple four-step learning process where you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So what are you waiting for? Please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.